It is a stunning day in Chicago um, and it's the tail end of my Italian week so I've been cooped up all week um, and I just needed, I needed to get out of the house. So today uh, we are going to my favorite bookstores in Chicago. The other thing is um, I have a handful of books that I want to get rid of so I'm going to sell it for store credit and by handful I mean like an entire stack. <laughs> yeah. Ravenswood is definitely one of my favorite bookshops in Chicago. It specializes in rare and resold books. I really like used books because I like it when people write their names and in their annotations and I like to see what matters enough to them about the story, about the writing, to stop what they're doing and actually find a pen. This place is like a maze and honestly I could stay here all day. Bridge Books in Boys Town specializes in new books as well as the more obscure LGBTQ plus nonfiction and fiction literature. They also have a pretty astounding collection of YA novels and kids novels and a whole collection of everything else you can hope to find in a bookstore. They have a pretty extensive political science section, all of the classics you can think of, travel, etc. might be my favorite one on this list. It is part bar, part bookshop, part board game cafe. It also happens to be where I work now. Um, I have a lot of appreciation and pride in this place. And you know, if even if I wasn't getting paid, I could probably spend an entire day here. All the proceeds from books go to nonprofit organizations. Um, it's just it's just good vibes. Okay, day two of book shopping in Chicago. Today we are going to like Logan Square area. Should be fun, have to take a bus to another bus. Love it. Good times ahead, but I'm really excited. Even though I really don't need more books. You know, it's funny because yeah, I haven't read most of the books that I own, but the reason beyond, behind that is when I read books, if I don't like them, I'll give them away. This is of course me trying to justify having as much crap in my room as I do. Um, so I only keep the books that I like. I only like maybe like a fifth of the books I read. Or if I like the book, I'd give it to somebody else to let them borrow it, to which I never see it again. Anyways, so that's my mental gymnastics as to why I have so much crap. So I finally made it. Uh, only took me like three ghost buses and 40 minutes or so. Did a little shopping, didn't find much. Got a behemoth smoothie. 
bigger than my face. The problem with videos like these is that I get so self-conscious about filming in public. And like, I get it, you know? Every time I see someone filming themselves, talking at themselves, I'm like, mm, weird. Like, just enjoy the moment, man, you know? Um, but yeah, it feels very weird to just like sit here and enjoy my smoothie in a park by myself. Um, you know how it is. is super cool because it has five floors of so whatever you might want. It is a whole maze. You can sell or trade books here, but honestly I find that the books are already very reasonably priced. Like all of the rest of these bookstores, I could probably spend an exorbitant amount of time here. On my way across the street, I found this little art gallery and I went up the steps and feared for my life, that's okay. It was actually an art gallery and it was really neat and I got to chat with the people about the thing. Quimby's was the last stop on our little bookshop tour of Chicago. It specializes in zines and comic books, but there, you know, there are a few racks of books as well. They also have tchotchkes, stickers, things of that nature. It's a really cute place. I did happen to find a poetry collection that my friend had written, and that was really neat. I texted him congratulations. We're back. So I went to five bookstores, three, I forgot, it doesn't matter. Um, I went to a number of bookstores on the north side of Chicago and I came home with five books, um, which is quite conservative for my normal, uh, you know, book shop routine. Um, however, on a normal bookshop routine, I don't visit five different bookstores, so, you know, gotta consolidate somewhere. I was thinking about this video, and it occurred to me that I am such a creature of habit, it is kind of insane. I wanna know how much I actually spent on all of these books. These five massive books, actually, not all of them are massive, but I spent a single dollar. I bought these three from Ravenswood Books. Um, and I spent a grand total of one dollar. <laughs> and the reason for that is because I had books to trade in. Um, and I think the combined total was $17. I had a credit of $16. Do the math, one dollar, you know how it is. Um, so that'll be fun. I started leafing through, I I'll tell you what I bought. I bought The Life of Pi that I bought in German. And I started reading it, and I think he's, he's talking about Beatles. I wasn't sure. I feel like my level of German is not at this point. It'll be a work in progress. That's fine. I bought this one. I see it everywhere. It's Les Eclairs du Central Park sont tristes le lundi, which means um, the squirrels in Central Park are sad on Mondays. Uh, I see it everywhere. It's about New York. Why not? And then I bought this one in Italian. I am hoping and praying that I continue with the language and can um, 
eventually work up to this. I don't really know what it says, but it's by Irvine Welsh and it has the Andy Warhol banana slash Velvet Underground banana. Um, so yeah, sounds fun. I think this takes place in like Edinburgh and California. I don't know. I don't know Italian. And then um, I only bought books from one other place and that was my Opic. I bought James Baldwin, which is long overdue and My Brilliant Friend which was recommended by Jack Edwards um, after his stunning review, I thought, let's do it. Um, and I spent zero dollars on these because the thing is, um, I spend so much time at these bookstores, I, I sell so many books and buy so many books that I actually had a credit going at that place. And he's like, you know what? Your previous stuff covers it, so you're good to go and that was cute. There are so many other places in the city that I have yet to visit, that I have yet to go to, um, so this was just a few of my personal favorites. I'm sure I will be traveling to those at another time and probably taking you with me. That was the oven, I'm making lunch. Come to Chicago. Love you, bye. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.